Yo, what's up? This is Germs from Germs Boxing, aka Germs Dodamus. So, anyways, uh, I just got asked from one of my homies on the YouTube thing what my thoughts on Roy Jones Jr.'s career is. And I was like, you know what? That's pretty, that's a good question, you know, because I like, I like random ass questions like that, you know what I'm saying? Um, Here's my thoughts on Roy Jones Jr. A lot of people say, yeah, he used to duck everybody. He was like Mayweather back then and yada yada and whoop de whoop, right? So I'm, I'm going to say this. Um, he himself admitted that he ducked people in his prime because he had, he had better chances of beating them. And I think that's the most honest answer, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, he might not have fought in the best in their prime, but then again... You know, neither has Mayweather, and if you think about it, Sugar Ray Leonard admitted that he waited until Hagler kind of uh, slowed down a notch before he actually, you know, uh, uh, challenged him for a fight, you know? So, it's kind of like, it's just the human nature, right? Just, just you know, you, you want to fight somebody, but you don't. You want to be at your best, and you want to fight someone that you kind of know that you might have a better chance of beating him, you know what I'm saying? Like, like... I don't think uh, Roy Jones' career is uh, garbage at all. Like, a lot of people think that, yeah, he ducked everybody. Okay, I step back and do this. Step back and look at Roy Jones uh, Jr.'s career and uh, analyze it as a whole. And let me know if he ducked. It doesn't matter if they were under prime or not. I will not say a man ducks anybody if his roster of victims include Bernard Hopkins... James Tony, um, Joe Calzaghe, mm, Antonio Tarver, Glenn Johnson, Vinny Pazienza, Virgil Hill. It doesn't sound like he ducked. Like really, you know, maybe they weren't in their prime age, prime, you know. But anybody who fought those guys and actually, you know, and and beat most of the guys I just mentioned. That's something great. That's something like special. You know what I mean? And 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 you gotta you gotta understand. There's no. There's never gonna be another Roy Jones, ever. Uh, Muhammad Ali is Muhammad Ali. He does his thing. Flows like a bee. Roy Jones is Roy Jones. Totten, uh, boasting. You know, uh, um, it. He knocks somebody out with his hands behind his back. Man, come on. There's. He. he you see, Roy Jones breaks every law in the book in the in, in the book of textbook boxing however he he's a he's a natural boxer he knows what he's doing he started slowing down you know maybe he's his glass his yes yeah okay i admit he might have a glass jaw he probably figured that out early when he was young he probably realized he had a small because he does have a small chin and i did notice that when somebody has a small skull or a small grill or, or, or mandible you know what i mean they they don't take punches really well as opposed to people like me with big old rock rock heads like Hagler or, or, or big just big ass domes you know what i'm saying tyson it, it you know we're, we're punch absorbers you know we have a natural you know uh, bulletproof domes but Roy Jones, he's got a little of his jaw, and I'm, I'm assuming that's what it is. It, that, that, you know, when somebody gets knocked out cold or at least really, really hurt, it's kind of hard to come back to your, you know what I mean? It's, it's really hard to bounce back from that. But I don't think, you know, Roy Jones Jr., he, his career is what it is. He's, he's a star, you know, for a reason. A lot, there's, there's a lot of people that don't know shit about nobody else. But Roy Jones and Manny Pacquiao, you know what I mean? But before Pacquiao, there's still Roy Jones, you know, there's one of those household names, you know? If for a reason he's he, he he is, you know, he's got that he's got the personality to go with it. He's got power, ridiculous power when he wants to. He's got ridiculous skill when he wants to. So it's like, you know, Roy Jones Jr. is one of my favorite it has one of the my favorite careers. You know, seriously. He has more, I, I like I like a lot of his a lot of his styles, you know. He is a natural student by heart. So you know, you can't take nothing away from Roy Jones, you know? Because 
the taking away from Roy Jones would have to mean like taking a little bit away from, you know, what Ray Robinson did, a little bit away from Sugar Ray Leonard, you know, a little bit away from what Muhammad Ali did. Because Roy Jones pretty much did what a lot of boxers would do, just basically fight, fight what he can, beat what he can, you know. Because I remember when I was watching the um, Clinton Woods versus Roy Jones, I think it was Clinton Woods, you know, live. And I remember Larry Merchant saying, let's just get this fight over with you know like they're talking about how you know Roy Jones comes in rapping and you know what I mean like it's most of a show and and you know what like you know and, and then later Clinton Woods turned out to be somebody more legit like like four years afterwards so you can't say Roy Jones was ducking everybody maybe in their prime but he wasn't ducking many people like that not like Floyd Mayweather at least you know I'm not saying Floyd Mayweather's ducking everybody but he could have beaten Cotto. He could have beaten Pacquiao. I, yeah, I'm telling you, man. He could have beaten... Um, was, who, who else did he... You know, um, Margarito. He would have murdered Margarito. Worse than Mayweather. Worse than Pacquiao. I mean, worse than May, May, Worse than Mosley, I'm sorry. You know what I'm saying? Like, Mayweather had the chance. And he had the ability to beat all these people. You know? And, and you know, stylistically... I think... Um, if this was, if Roy Jones was the welterweight, if this was Roy Jones, uh, if, if Roy Jones was Floyd, you know what I mean? Roy Jones would fight all those guys, right? As soon as he saw that they were all slowing down, he would jump on it. And that's the difference between Roy Jones and Floyd Mayweather. Mayweather would just, nah, fuck it, you know, they're not even on my level. Roy Jones is like, ah, they're slowing down. I'm going to kick their ass now, okay? But at least Roy Jones jumps into it. You know what I'm saying? Um... If somebody, like Roy Jones, what is it? You don't think he wants to lose? Do you think that's why he was ducking? No, because he got killed, murdered three times. He, he, he got outboxed, what, twice? Or, yeah, twice. He got outboxed twice. Um, three times, four, yeah, forget it. I'm not going to go into his record. You know what I'm saying? So, he, you know what I mean? Like, like so, so what, what, you know, what would he be ducking for? He doesn't want to lose. He's already lost. Okay. The Danny Green one, I think that's the only that's the only fight that I kind of kind of like forgive him for, because the Danny Green, yeah, I did see the punch, it did land in the back of the head somewhat, and I just thought it was a it was just a it was just a cool. I mean, it wasn't in the back of the head like illegal, but it's a, one of those equilibrium punches. It was just really lucky landed it. He just. It was just a lucky shot, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Danny Green is not a one-round blitzer either, so um, I, I forgive you, Roy Jones, for that. I don't forgive you for getting outboxed by Bernard Hopkins, but then again, it's Bernard Hopkins, and uh, anybody who loses to him, hey, we've, well, whatever, okay? So, um, so yeah, that's that's what I think. You know, I, he might have dug people in their prime, but eventually he would fight them. And that's the difference between him and Floyd Mayweather Jr. And, uh, you know, Roy Jones, I would put him in the category of Sugar Ray Leonard and, uh, you know, Pernell Whitaker, you know, like one of those, you know, greats, but not all time greats like, like, you know, like what I would put Willie Pep or, or, you know, or even Muhammad Ali, you know what I'm saying? So like, like that to me is, 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 man, Willie Pep beat somebody without throwing a punch beat a round in one round he won one round without throwing a punch just fucking ducking and everything you know that's that's greatness that's what Roy Jones would do too you know what I mean like and that's another thing that we needed in this sport that's why I don't know why people dog Roy Jones because he fucking brought magic man he brought magic to the sport he did things that you would have known he would, he, he would kick your ass, turn around, stick his tongue out, jab you while he's doing it. You know what I mean? Shake his ass if you, you know, like you're hitting him in the, in the stomach, you know, just to distract you. He makes other people start boasting with him or, or you know what I mean? Like showboating and, you know, he'll, he'll take him out of their game and everything. Like when he did that with uh, James Tony, you know, James Tony is a big mouth himself. You know, when Roy Jones Jr. was like, uh... Uh, like opening up his arms to to uh, James Tony, like putting him on the ground, you know what I mean? Kind of like, kind of like taunting him. And and what did Tony do? He did the same thing. He tried to taunt him back, doing the same shit Roy Jones was doing. And Roy Jones just with his hands down, jumps up, leaps with a left hook, and fucking knocks James Tony down into the ropes. I'm like, that's fucking skill. 
nobody does that to James Tony. Come on, you gotta be great to do that, especially when James Tony was 168. You know what I'm saying? Now it's like one. I mean, 338. One. Yeah, it's a joke. Ah, uh, Tony, I'm still sorry because of that stupid Randy shit. But anyways, um, yeah. Uh, yeah, subscribe. This is Germs from Germs Boxing. Uh, that's my thoughts on Roy Jones Jr.'s career. One of my favorite, you know, stars in the game. Not one of my favorite boxers. One of my favorite, like, personalities, you know. One of my favorite styles, you know. Um, you can't. It, it, when you go to training, when you when and the new cats, new 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 kids that go training in boxing, they can't train without tr trying some Roy Jones Jr. moves because that's what he did. He brought some new elements to the game and and all these multi dimensions. You know, Roy Jones opened up these doors, so we got to give him that credit. We got to give him that much. You know, this guy is good for us. He's good for our history. Good for show. He is really fun. He, he, he deserves his props. And you know what? He's making his money. So that's it. This is Germs from Germs Boxing. Subscribe. You guys got any questions? Nothing stupid questions. Some good questions, solid questions. You let me know. And uh, I'll, I'll shoot the video as soon as I can. Because, you know, stoners get lazy and procrastinate so much. Alright, so this is Germs Germs Boxing. Late. <laughs>